हेलो एवरीवन बिकम एग्री बिजनेस एंड क्वालिटी एक्सपर्ट इन हंड्रेड डेज फ्रेंड्स अंडर माय दिस ऑन गोइंग सीरीज टुडे इज माय फोर्टी फोर्थ एपिसोड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू कवर वेरी एक्साइटिंग फ्रूट विच इज कस्टर्ड एप्पल इन हिंदी इट इज कॉल्ड शरीफा फ्रेंड्स टूडे इन दिस टॉपिक आई एम टू गोइंग टू कवर सम फैक्ट्स अबाउट कस्टर्ड एप्पल्स वट इज कस्टर्ड एप्पल हाउ मेनी टाइप ऑफ कस्टर्ड एप्पल्स आर देयर वेन इट शुड बी हार्वेस्टेड हाउ टू चेक इट्स मेच्योरिटी वॉट आर द कॉमन एंड वेरी डेंजरस डिफेक्ट्स of this how to handle this fruit how to store this fruit and especially how to remove the infection in this fruit friends my name is arun mehta and you are watching my youtube channel arun mehta quality talk so today's my topic is some special facts about custard apple friends custard apple is a climatic fruit which is also known as a sugar apple it is also called sita phal climatic fruits are the fruits which start ripening after harvesting so these fruits comes under climatic fruits so custard apple is very delicate fruit which start ripening very fast after plucking from the tree after getting some hot temperature it should be harvested at mature stage the main point of this custard apple if you want to handle this properly you have to harvest this custard apple at mature stage if you will harvest this fruit at immature stage it will not ripen for many days or even if it ripen it will not give you proper sweetness and proper flavor so custard apple should be harvested at mature stage when the fruit turn green to light green or little yellow color this fruit is highly perishable ripe fruits when fruit is ripen maximum its life is one day at ambient temperature this fruit is very very difficult to handle from orchard till it reaches to the consumer 30 to 40% losses are happen so it is very important that when you harvest the fruit from the tree only hard fruit should be dispatched please underline this only hard fruit should be dispatched for checking hard fruit before dispatch before packing please press each and every fruit with your thumb if it is taking little bit pressure then it means it can ripen during transit itself so discard that fruit for the local market and only hard fruit which is not pressed easily should be packed for long term dispatch this is first condition custard apple should be packed in well ventilated cardboard carton if you will not packed in ventilated carton inside the carton heat will generate and fruits may ripen during transit so it should be ripe it should be packed in the well ventilated hard at least three ply cardboard carton in single layer or maximum two layers it is better to pack each fruit with a foam net for its protection with the rubbing with the each other that also give some cushion and avoid the rubbing during transit there is a golden custard apple variety is also there in the market which is fruits are generally large in size and have a bright golden color from outside some people think in this golden custard apple will be red color from inside or golden color from inside it's not like that its only outer color is 
golden, bright golden. Inside it is white only. Due to its perishable nature, for long distance travel, if you want to send this custard apple to more than 400 km distance, please use refer van only. Refrigerated van should be used, it should be sent in the cooled atmosphere. Cracking, canker spots, bruise marks and mealy bug infection are its major defects and it's put major impact on its marketability. So these fruits easily cracked during transit. When fruits start ripening, it will give you cracking. Canker spots, bruise marks is very common in this and mealybug is also very common infection in this fruit. So we should not be there. All such type of fruit should be discarded. Let's talk about mealybug. Millibug is very very common infection in the custard apple. You can see some white color powdery structure is stick to the fruit surface which is called millibug. It is due to some bugs and this infection if it is there you cannot stop that. Generally in one tree if millibug is there you will find this infection in entire orchard because it is spread very fast. So the best thing is if you find any mealybug infection in any tree, that area should be avoided. We should not purchase custard apple from that area where mealybug infection is there because this mealybug <laughs> you cannot remove from the fruits. Some people think he, you, if you wash the fruit, it can go. If you remove the mealybug by cloth or by some wet cloth, it can go, but it is misconception. Mealybug infection will remain on the custard apple even if you remove totally at the time of dispatch, but you will find this infection will reappear after few hours. When it will reach to pack house or warehouse or maybe after one or two days you will find this millibug infection reappear. So don't purchase millibug infected fruit. Avoid the area where millibug infection is there and purchase only sound and good quality fruits free from millibug and other defects. Custard apple is also very sensitive to the bruise marks and cracking. To avoid this packing should be done in such a way that fruits are not touched with each other and only hard and mature fruits are packed before dispatch. Custard apple produce ethylene gas <coughs> and also very sensitive with ethylene. So therefore it is very important that uh, it should not be transported or should not be packed <laughs> with the fruits which generate ethylene. So to protect the custard apple for ripening, custard apple should not be packed with the produce which uh, generate ethylene and this and also the fruits which are sensitive to the ethylene should not also be packed with the custard apple because custard apple also produces ethylene. Custard apple is highly sensitive to borer infection also. Fruit may have live larva inside. So when you are eating this fruit, be very careful. Inside because larva is white color and custard apple flesh is also white color. So you will not find there is a larva unless you will see, watch this clear carefully. So custard apple is highly sensitive to borer infection. While eating you should be very very careful. First cut the custard apple into half and check whether larva is present or no. Only then you should eat the fruit. Now how we can remove this insect infest infection in the custard apple? There is a one method is there, if you apply that, 
you can control this infection. So to avoid this infection, it should be treated with a hot water of 45 to 47 degrees centigrade. Dip the custard apple for around one hour, 60 minutes at 45 to 47 degrees centigrade temperature. So this, by this method, the eggs of these maggots inside the fruits will be killed and fruit infection will not grow further. So wherever you find this infection at the time of purchase, you should apply this treatment. You should dip the custard apple in the warm water, 45 to 47 degrees centigrade temperature for 60 minutes and you will find no infection afterwards. For more shelf life, mature and firm fruit should be stored at 12 to 15 degrees centigrade temperature. Because if you will store at high temperature, at ambient temperature, its shelf life will be less and it will ripen very fast. So friends, this was all about custard apple. I told you today many new facts about custard apple. I hope you will get benefit of the points which I described in my video. If you like this video, please do not forget to press the like button. You should also share this video <coughs> to your friends and colleagues so they can also take benefit of that. So tomorrow I will bring one another video. Till then, be happy, remain happy, keep smiling and keep watching my YouTube channel Arun Mehta Quality Talk. Thanks for watching. Thank you.